Praise the Lord and good afternoon, good evening and good morning to you wherever you are viewing us from all over the world. And we welcome you to Covenant Union, a program that we talk about our various homes and we learn at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And my name remains the same, Omar Labake Sam. So we welcome you in the name of Jesus. We want to appreciate God for what God did in our midst, um, most especially last week, because last week was the first year anniversary of Covenant Union, and it was done here on Zoom, and a lot of people joined us from different parts of the world. They celebrated with us. So we return all the glory back to God for the success of that anniversary. It was wonderful. And we are not taking this for granted at all. We appreciate God. We thank him for the strength he has been given to us, for the um, opportunity has been given to us, especially the privilege has given, he has been given to us to come together as one family every Wednesday. So if you've missed that, please, you can go to our Facebook, uh, Facebook and you see it there, or you go to our YouTube channel that's on Covenant Union, so you can watch the program there. And we want to believe that you will also be blessed, praise the Lord. And in the last one year of the program, the Lord has helped us to treat a lot of topics. A lot of topics, topics like the one we just concluded with, infertility, that the Lord has helped us to change to fertility now because we strongly believe that God has answered the prayers of many that are crying unto him for the fruit of the womb. We've treated so many um, topics. So if you want to see or you want to watch what we've done in the past, please go to our Facebook or the YouTube channel. Everything is there so you can learn one or two things from there. So this day, today, that we are starting a new year on Covenant <laughs> Union on our page here. We're going to be starting with a new topic that is called family planning. Praise the Lord. We'll be starting with a new topic called family planning. Is family planning, is it biblical? Why are Christians not talking about it? Is it something that Christians should even do? Is it a sin or is not a sin? How do I go about it in case I want to do it? And so on. So these are the things we'll be learning as we proceed. So, but before we go on with today's episode, we'd like to appreciate God, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who created us, who has made us to come together today. And that is God Almighty. And in doing that, we'd like to call on Sister Moreni Keji to give us opening prayer. Sister Moreni Keji, over to you, ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for the privilege and thank you. I want to thank God for bringing us together once again because it is another new year for us in, in Covenant Union. So let's bow our hands. Uh, um, let's bow down our head and appreciate God. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we want to thank you, want to appreciate you for bringing us back together once again, because it's not by our power, not by our might, but the privilege you gave unto us, Father, we say, may your name alone be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because you let you don't let the devil to prevail over this our program, Covenant Union, you make us see a year 
last week and we are about to step into another year father as we are stepping into another year this moment father go with us in every way in the mighty name of jesus amen father we cover everybody every single person on this platform with your precious blood in the mighty name of jesus amen we cover the anchor or the uh, the person leading us because you are the anchor Yes. Your child, you 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 give to us to lead us, Father. We cover her with the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We open this program in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Morelli. KG, God bless you for that prayer. So, as I've said before, we are starting a topic called family planning. And here, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. We've all come together to learn at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to the glory of God, we have people joining us from different parts of the world. So... After the teaching, we have another uh, aspect of the program, which is question and answer and contribution. So, to so today's topic, family planning. Under this topic, family planning, we'll be looking at some subtopic under it. Number one, the definition of family planning. What is family planning? Then, number two, why? this topic? Why are we treating this topic? Then, related story in the Bible that talks about that we, some, we can link with family planning. Then, history of family planning. How did the whole thing started that? It's now a thing that people are doing. Then, did God want us to plan? Praise the Lord. So, and by the grace of God, before we finish this episode, um, this series of uh, family planning, we will be having a doctor that will come and talk to us. A doctor that will come and talk to us, that will come and enlighten us on how to go about family planning. Also, she will also be feeding us with the word of God, if it's God's will for if it's something that God wants us to do as his children, or if it's something that is of a sin that we should not even go, we should not even try. Praise the Lord. So family planning is the ability of couples to anticipate and attain their desired number of children and the spacing and timing of their birth. That is family planning. The ability of couple to decide, to decide the numbers of children they want, how they want them to come, then the time they want them to come. That is what family planning is. That is what family planning means. And my own definition of family planning is simply that, <laughs> simply means that you, your how to continue to enjoy your conjugal right with your spouse without having on um, children that are you, that are not planned for. That is my own definition that I can give to it. How to continue enjoying your conjugal right? That's you know what I mean, how to continue to enjoy your spouse sexually without having children that are not planned for. That is family planning. So you decide that, okay, uh, we, want to, we want to plan how we have them. For social period, we don't want them because I want to be enjoying you. And even if they are going to come, this is the time we want them to come. Praise the Lord. 
And family planning is achieved through the use of contraceptive methods and treatments of involuntary infertility. It is achieved through the use of contraceptive methods and treatment of involuntary infertility. You know, naturally, the body wants to produce because God has blessed us, according to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28. He has blessed us to do what? To be fruitful and multiply. So, the way God wired our body, the body wants to produce naturally once you come in contact with your spouse. So, but you are subjecting your body involuntarily to infertility for reasons best known to you. Praise the Lord. So, anytime you meet with your spouse, it is possible that that will yield to fruitfulness. But you are now subjecting the body to infertility. And it could be due to consideration of, um, it could be many things. It could be that the number of children you wish to have, that, okay, maybe you, have, you wish to have only, maybe only two children, only three children, or the age at which you wish to have them. Or your choice of saying, oh, I'm, I want to stop now. God has blessed me enough. So now we are, we've been blessed with, let's say, two or three, and we want to stop because we want to continue to enjoy ourselves. We don't want, because we are trying to prevent our body against uh, unwanted pregnancy, then we are depriving ourselves are con the conjugal rights. And these are influenced by external factors such as marital situation, career, consideration, financial position, education, and any disability that may affect the ability to have children or to raise them. So it could be any of these. Maybe after you got married, your wife is still a student of one, one so, so university and you are like, okay, we don't want anything to disturb this that we are doing now. So let us plan towards maybe when you finish, then we can start thinking of having our own children. Or because of the financial position of that family that Right now, we don't have enough money to cater for children, or God has blessed us with two or one. Or one. So now we want, to, we want to really prepare, we want to work, and when God has blessed us more, then we now continue. Or because of career, maybe the, the kind of, I'm using woman, woman, because it's commonly with we women. Maybe the kind of work your wife is doing at the moment is highly demanding. And you are like, okay, now I think we have to stop because we've given birth to two. We have to stop. So we can, we need to plan. Praise the Lord. And one of the major uh, method of family planning is the use of con uh, contraceptive and other techniques. And what do they, what, how, is this being used? They are being used to control the timing of reproduction. This method, they are being used to control the timing of what? Of reproduction. And by the grace of God, by the time the doctor that will come and talk to us will come, the doctor is going to really enlighten us more on this. Because I saw a video on the, on the I listened to a preacher and the person said that uh, the contraceptive method and the rest is also, it also means abortion. That when the baby is already, when they, the sperm 
is already for is already there to fertilize the egg then the 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 constructed sepsis you are using will flush away the sperm and is the person is re, um defining that as abortion so but by the grace of god when the doctor come the doctor will come and tell us better but based on my own findings it means to control the timing of reproduction that means nothing has even nothing has happened so the contraceptives you are taking or whatever technique is being used is only to control that from happening it's to control you from getting pregnant praise the lord i as we all know god has the final say is the one that knows the ending of a particular thing. In fact, even the world, the whole world, he, 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 he knows the, the ending of the whole world from the beginning, from the creation of the world. So it is the one that will determine the number of children who will give birth to. So we can only plan. But God has the final say, and that's why. The book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21 says, many are the plans in a person's heart. Many are the plans in a person's heart. So in your plan, in your heart, you have so many plans. Oh, you, as you are, mar you are getting married, you have plans of, this is the numbers of children I want to have. This is this, this is that. But it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So God has the final say. If you are planning to have two children and God is saying, I want to bless you with more. If you like, use family planning till thy kingdom come. Nothing will happen. Do family planning and the rest. The numbers of children God wants you to give birth to will still come. Praise the Lord. So now I'm still going to talk about the history, how the whole thing started and the rest. But why are we talking about this topic? Why do we want to talk about family planning? Like I told us, by the grace of God, we just finished a topic called parenting waiting, which is commonly known as barrenness or infertility and the rest. But we strongly believe that based on all the prayers, all the things that we've done here, the Lord has changed that story, that topic of infertility. The Lord has changed it to fertility for us in the name of Jesus. And we strongly believe that very soon, babies will start rolling in in numbers, in their numbers, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know that very soon on this platform, for those that are waiting, we will be having the problem of what to do. Amen. Amen. That is how to control it. Because God has answered us and is already blessing us. The babies will start rolling in, in numbers. So very soon, by his grace, we will be having the problem of, ah, hey, we need to take caution. No? So you don't go and you don't, you don't go and produce the one that is, <laughs> no, let me use the word, the one that is beyond us. So you don't go and produce a uh, football team. So that is number one reason why we are treating this topic here. And secondly, family planning is a topic that is not really talked about among Christians. It's the topic that a lot of Christians or preachers, they try to avoid because there is no Bible passage that is backing it up. And this has left a lot of Christians, a lot of Christian women in doubt, asking question if it's a sin, if it's something they should do or not. And because some could not find genuine answer to it, to this particular question, it has led many 
to unwanted pregnancies. Because instead of getting the help they need, and there's nobody to talk to, nobody's really talking about it or giving them the right answer that they want. So they are just they just believe that God has told us to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish the earth, and they are just they are busy giving it. And in so many cases, this has led to what? Abortion among Christians. It has led to abortion because a lot of unwanted pregnancies and they are, they are not ready for it. Or in cases of people that maybe that just gave birth, their baby is just three months and they are pregnant again. They don't know what to do. So because of shame, because of social, what the word we say and the rest, they go for ab adoption. And wish we all know that it is a terrible sin before God. So they, they commit uh, murder. So in order to correct this, and also to avoid this, there is a need for us to talk about family planning. And because a lot of Christians, they are not talking about it, it has also led to disobedience to the word of God. It has led to what? Disobedience to the word of God. And you might be thinking in your mind, what is she talking about? How can we disobey God because we didn't do family planning? If you look at the book of First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4 to 5a of it, the Bible told us that our body be, does not belong to us. It belongs to your spouse and in the five in the verse five a of it he told us not to deprive the women should not deprive their husband of their body the husband should not deprive the, the wives of their body but because of family planning uh, because of um considering family planning as a sin and you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to have unwanted pregnancy some of us you start depriving your your spouse of your body and some of our women some women they are they are so blessed with the blessings of god based on that genesis chapter 1 verse verse 28 and before you touch them they conceive they are so, they are very, very fat at that. Before you touch them, they conceive. And their husband has tagged them, mark on. That is, don't touch. Don't just go near. And because of this, when the woman is now calling for her conjugal rights from the husband, what the response from the husband is, hey, I don't want to, because your name is Mrs. Macon. Before we touch you now, you start producing. Because already, they already have... <laughs> like maybe four or five or more. So the man, they start depriving the woman the right that belongs to her. Because of what? Because of, they don't know if family planning is a sin or not. And nobody has been able to educate the woman on what to do. So the, that's why you even see some women going outside what do they go to do outside they go to meet other young ladies and we, i don't really want us to talk about that here because the family planning we are talking about here should be meant for couples people that are married so they go out there to meet ladies that knows how to take care of themselves how to prevent all these things from happening and you that you are at home, you don't know what to do. Before they touch you, boo, before they touch you, another one will come. The man will say, ah, I'm tired though. So I better go and enjoy myself outside instead of having football team. Praise the Lord. So in a way, because we are not talking about it or we are seeing it as a sin, it has 
pushed so many to disobey the word of God, which says, do not deprive your wife or your husband, your body. Praise the Lord. And that will now take me to what is Bible saying? As we have, have we ever come across anything that has to do with family planning in the Bible? Like I told us that the Bible is kind of silent about family planning because there's no any there's no one major passage that is backing it up that people should opt for family planning. Because the Bible made us to know that children, they are gifts from God. Children are seen as gifts from God. And God has blessed us to produce. God has blessed us to be fruitful. God has blessed us to be what? To multiply. But the truth is that in this secular world that we have to that we have today, you and I know that there must be as we need to caution ourselves. We need to plan towards some things in order not to even offend God who created us. Because your inability to plan for some things will make you offend God. For instance, when you know you cannot take care of children, as in many children, and you are just giving birth to them. And at the end, you cannot, you can't take care of them. And you not even, I'm not talking, I'm not even talking about monetary aspect now. Even morally, even to bring them together, train them in the way of God, you cannot because they are they are too much. They are many. Before this one, we say, hey, this one is already saying, mommy, and you are tired. And that is why I'm talking from experience. I've seen a lot of mothers here. When they are children, when they are disturbing, they will just say, hey, leave me, Jerry, you people, your know, life is too much. So instead of putting the children um, all right, teaching them what to do, all the moral things they need, but because she has given birth to, to the one that is more than what she can handle, so you will just see them neglecting the children, they leave the children to do whatever they like, and at the end, raising problem or causing problem to the, to the society because they've given birth to the ones they cannot take care of. Praise the Lord. So in this circular world that we invite today, there is a reason, there is a need for us to do what? To plan. To plan, to, to be able to plan the number of children we want, to be able to plan how to space them. And there is a need for us to know when we are done, when we are saying, oh, when we are to say, oh, I think God has blessed us enough. The more multiplication God is talking about in the book of Genesis 20, chapter 1, verse 28. He's talking about generation to generation. God will multiply you. God will bless you. God is not saying at once you should be giving birth. Everything should be coming. And to be fruitful that he's talking about is just telling you that I am going to bless you. You are not going to be alone. I'm going to bless you. You're not going to be barren. If we look at, we, we're still going to, we are, I'm, I'm still, to the glory of God, we will take our time to treat this topic very well. And Holy Spirit will help us. Holy Spirit will speak through, through me and through every one of us that we are going to be contributing. If you look at even people in the Bible that God blessed, how many children did you see them that they gave birth to? according to the Bible. So to me, family planning is not a thing. 
God himself is the is a master planner. We will still come to that. So children, they are being seen as what? Special gifts from God. According to Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. If you are there with your Bible, please open. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. And Adam knew his wife. Knew him his wife. And she conceived and bare came and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. So it means it is God that gives us children. They are what? Blessings from God. And in the book of Genesis 33 also, Genesis 33 verse 5, when um, Esau and Jacob, when they were to reconcile, Genesis 33 verse 5, the Bible made us to understand that. Esau saw Jacob. Let me read it out. It said, and he lifted up his eyes and saw the woman, the women, and the children, and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God had give, graciously given thy servant. So they are what? They are gifts from God. So when God has blessed us with them, praise the Lord. At the same time, we should not say because they are blessings from God, we should start giving back to, to them because oh, we are very productive. God says we should be, we should multiply, we should replenish the earth, we should be fruitful. There's still a need for us to caution ourselves. Don't forget, I told us, I said, God has what? He has the final say. According to that proverb, chapter 19, verse 21, God has the, plan, the final say, but still God wants us to plan so that we can even be useful to him in other aspects, in other, in other aspects of life. The first place we can see something that has to do with family planning and the method that was being used there is in the book of Genesis chapter 38. If you are with your Bible, you can please open there. Genesis chapter 38. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 38. That is a, the Bible um, verse, or Bible passage that a lot of people use to condemn uh, family planning. Why? Because there was a man there that is called uh, Onan, either Onan or Onan, that was meant to bring forth another child from the wife, from his uh, brother's late wife, um, his late brother's wife, sorry, his late brother's wife. God wanted him to raise another child, as in to bring to to bring another. I, I, according to that was according to their tradition. Then, that once a brother is late, the another another man will take care. We take that woman and marry the woman. So the the idea was that he should sleep with the woman. The woman's name is Tamar. To sleep with the woman so that he can raise. I think it was the father that even told him so that he can raise a child in the name of the brother. So what the, this man, what he did was that he slept with the woman after sleeping with the woman. So I want to, I personally, I want to count that as being selfish because he enjoyed himself with the woman. But because of, let me say, because he was selfish, he doesn't want to raise another child in the name of his brother that is not his own. Then when after, after while sleeping with the woman, when he wanted to come, he used what was known as withdrawal method. 
and pour the, the spam on the floor. And because of that, God took him away. Because what he did was, it was something that really, that God, that, that made God to be so hungry. And God did what? God took him away. Praise the Lord. So, family planning has to do with your motive of going into family planning. Do you want to do it because you want to be messing around? <clears throat> Are you subjecting your body for family planning because you want to be <clears throat> messing around? Or you want to use it to even punish somebody because we have a lot of cases that somebody, a woman or a man, they will have gone for family planning and the spouse will not know. And they will keep on praying because maybe they don't want, I don't know, maybe the love is not there, they don't want to have children for such person. So they will be, they will keep on praying and praying and praying and the other party will not know that this person has done something to prevent the body from, from producing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Praise the Lord. So what is your motive behind family planning? And also the method you are using. When you are already pregnant, they've confirmed that you are pregnant and you are going for abortion because you don't want to have plenty of children. That is not family planning. That is you are committing mother. So when you're going for family planning, it depends on your motive for going for it, of going for it, or the method that you want to use. Like I told us that the construct, uh, contraceptive method and other techniques that are being used is to what? To control the timing of reproduction. To do what to control the timing of reproduction, not to terminate. So if it's a, if a method they want to use on you in order to control you from having plenty of children is you already conceived and they want to terminate that baby, that is not family plan. And your motive of going for family plan. Why do you want to go for family plan? People with one child, I see no reason why people like that would want to go for family planning. People with two, I'm sorry to say that, <laughs> except if you know that, okay, with these two, we are done. Thank you, Lord. You have blessed us enough. We are okay. I want to start working. I need to plan myself. So your motive behind that family planning you are going to do, it is what determines whether it is right or it is wrong. Like what the man now that we just finished his story now, what he did, his motive behind that where withdrawal method he used was wrong. Since you know you will not go, you are not going to raise any child from that woman. Why are you going to sleep with her? Why sleeping with her in the first place? So after enjoying yourself, you know, that's when you now, you now regain your senses at all. You don't want to raise uh, another child, person's child, or you don't want to, you want to have the one that is your own. So it's better you do it, you, you, you have such children from your own, your, your own wife. So your motive, that is why I said, I don't want us to really talk about people that are not married. And for you that are not married, that you are here listening to us, why do you want to go for family planning? It means you want to be, you want to be doing a, what's it called? You want to go into a fornication. That is what it means. And people are doing it because Dr. Olaleye, when he came to talk to us, he told us. The one that they, the one that they even did for somebody that, if not for God's intervention, that they got to know on time, such person will continue looking for children that I cannot come. 
not knowing because as a result of what she has done in the past, trying to prevent herself from conceiving. So, today I'm going to stop here. And by the grace of God, we are going to dig deep, deep into family planning next time when we meet. I'm, I, I, we're still going to talk about the history of family planning, how it all started. Uh, we're still going to talk about different methods that, that, that people are using. But from the book of Genesis chapter 38 now, we discovered one, which is to withdraw a method. And people are still using that method in tomorrow. And people still see the method as a sin. And that is why we need to read our own Bible. The motive behind it make it to become a sin because his, his mission for doing that was wrong. People are still using condom today. They are still using a lot of things. People are still using pills and the rest. So by the grace of God, as we continue, the Lord will be teaching us by himself. So he will reveal more to us that we need to know. And they will need to learn. Praise the Lord. So uh, as, as I close with this teaching, if you are out there, you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, tomorrow might be too late. Hmm. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the, the life. life, the light, the light of the world. It is only in Him you can have eternal life. So I urge you to submit yourself to Him today. And He's the only one that is called the body bearer that can carry that to your body. So if you are ready to do that, please bow down your head wherever you are and say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Be my light as from today and take away every darkness from my life. Write my name in the book of life and help me, guide me, direct my path. Help me to reign with you in heaven in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everlasting King of glory, Lord, we commit as many that are giving their lives to you right now unto your able hands, O Lord. Father, Lord, welcome this one to your kingdom in the name of Jesus. As from today, Lord, let their life turn a new leaf in the name of Jesus. Every darkness that is moving around them, Lord, let them cease as from today in the name of Jesus. Let these ones continue to experience light all their lives in the mighty name of Jesus and help them, oh Lord, to remain in you, never to go back to their vomit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of this, for in Jesus' mighty name we are free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you for teaching us again today. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to help us as we go into our, into the, into contribution, question and answer in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So it's time for question and answer. It's time for contribution. Please unmute your mic and so you can contribute. And for those that are just joining us, I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. And I appreciate you all for that wonderful celebration we had last week. God bless you. God continue to uh, bless you, replenish your force in the mighty name of Jesus. So please let us unmute our mic now and contribute. Or oh, you have question and answer you want to ask. Praise the Lord. Unmute your mic, please.
for those that are just joining us, our topic is family planning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. Your contribution, sir. Your contribution, sir, is Your contribution on the teaching of today. Then, if you have any question, you can ask. And if you don't have question, me, I can ask questions too. So, so I want your contributions, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. It's like we don't have contribution to <laughs> okay. Um to to Ross that are here on the platform, even people on Facebook, if you have anything you want to contribute, this you can write it. We're going to say it and respond to it immediately. Uh is to you, is family planning a sin? Is it something that believers should do or not? And as we are as we are in the section of question and answer, please, God bless you as you share this program. God bless you as you share it. And people that have not subscribed to our YouTube channel and Facebook, God bless you as you do so. Uh, uh, like I always say, it, this is our own means of evangeliz evangelizing to the world. So when you share it, you bless it with people and God will give you the reward in Jesus' name. Amen. So, is, is, is family planning a sin? Is it something that believers should do or not? Hmm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nobody is saying anything. Please, oh, let's talk. Oh. You are welcome back from our celebration. So it's time for us to, <laughs> to come together and do what God wants us to do. So please. And God bless the Lord. Us to share the program. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello. I just joined, so I, I didn't really. Um, Please, Ma, your um, name and where you are speaking from, Ma. My name is Tamaka from Germany. I, I didn't really uh, hear the vision of today, but concerning your question, I, I also want to ask the question because I read somewhere when somebody wrote that family planning is a sin okay. and that the uh, sister should just pray to God that. They don't want a uh, baby again instead of killing the babies, instead of killing the, the, the babies that, they, that are coming. So, me too, I want to know if that uh, writing is true, of course. Okay. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you, Mr. Pra Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, just, I just want to chip in one thing before we, we continue. Your name, no, sir. My name is Christopher Mora. You're welcome. Pastor and Redeemed Christian Church of God. Yes, Let sir. me just say something. You know, uh, anybody can come up with it. See, yes, that person may be right in his own motive. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, if you eat excessive food, if you eat excessive food, too much food, you commit sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God bless you, sir. Now, now, family planning, it can turn me to be seen according to the teaching of our sister this evening. If you know you are already pregnant, why are you terminating the baby? Mm -hmm. But you can avoid it from coming in by using mm -hmm. other means to prevent it when you feel you don't want it any longer. Mm. Instead of you don't want it any longer and then you have one and then you go and throw it away. 
You might have thrown the savior. You might have thrown the savior. You might have done something bad. That person might see it in a different view. It's a sin. Let's pronounce it that way. Mm -hmm. Family planning to me is very, very, very necessary. Even mm -hmm. if there is no place in the Bible, place on it. We should not be selfish with ourselves. When you know you can have four children and it's enough for you, why then do you produce in 10 and keep them as nuisance on the road? Mm -hmm. You cannot feed them. You keep on begging, look, looking for your family land or your family to help you to do that. You are pushing others to the world when you know you cannot contend for. If, if two is enough for you, go for two. If five is enough, get it five. Don't go and produce a football team because uh, God has given us the, the ability to produce. Amen. If you are the same woman, if you are the same woman that your husband always say good morning and you are pregnant, you have one, two, three, four, five, and you feel it's enough. Do something for yourself, for your own good, instead of the seventh one. You, some people are making it very, very wrong that somebody is five months pregnant and they went to terminate a mature baby. Mm -hmm. What do you call that one? It's completely killing. Mm -hmm. You terminate a mature baby, five months. Even if, it's, I, even if it's few days, five even if it's few days, why must you go to termination? Let, let the family planning remain on what you choose to be. If you want to produce the whole, the whole of Nigeria, go ahead and do it. But if you feel that you don't have every quality to train them, cut your coat according to the clothes, not the size any longer. Don't lay your problem. I said it one time here in the last time. I said, I have a, a brother. You understand me? And uh, let me tell you something. When my mother was alive, our, our uncle, the, the wife was producing anyhow. Even what my sister said was correct. She's three months, she had given birth to three months before you know she's pregnant. One day my mother, after warning them, he called the man and gave him a dirty slap. Never to do that again. And the man know what he means. How can your wife is three months uh, nursing baby, you give her another belly? They are coming like, like a worm. Hmm. Be very careful. Even if there is no Bible passage to back it up, you know what you need. God said we should go and produce and replenish the earth. Is it only you that want to replenish the earth? Hmm. That is why you should have 11 children as a football team and you cannot afford one square meal for one. We should be very careful. The pastor can preach it like this and tell you to be very careful. He will not quote Bible passage even if he has. Hmm. But caution yourself very well. We are learning in this world. Amen. 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 Some, some, can, some are very old and then they go and produce one thing. Say that the Lord has given it to us. Be very, very careful. Don't bring the children. I mean, don't suffer the children. Don't suffer them. Go for what you can, you can handle. Everything we see in this world, even too much sleeping, is sin. You see, you know. Too, too much walking is sin. And you drink too much. Ordinary water, where you drink it too if much. Anything you do is sin. If you hmm. go too much, talking too much, it's also sin. It's also so a anybody thing. who said uh, family planning is a, uh, is a thing, it depends on what it is. Hmm. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much, sir. So it is important that we cut our, we go into this model of this world to know what exactly what we want. It is very, very important. Instead of producing generation and you keep them suffering, beggars on the street, nuisance, causing armed robbers, criminal, and so many. Even some people become enmity because my uncle, my brother did not help me. Mm -hmm. God have mercy on us. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris Mora, God bless you, sir. That's a wonderful one from you. Thank you, sir.
Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Mr. Kinyemi from Germany. Uh, I, I just want, yes, I just want to say one or two things so that we will not miss it. Okay. Yeah, according to what the host have said, there is difference between family planning. That is family planning is to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Why unwanted pregnancy, they will now go for an abortion is quite different. You've said it. Mm -hmm. There is no preacher in this world, nobody in this world, nobody, no preacher, no pastor, no geo, no, nobody will say family planning is a sin. Nobody. The reason is that according to what our sister said that somebody wrote that family planning is a sin. No, it's not a sin. Maybe, you know, sometimes we, we refuse to analyze or to explain ourselves very well. According to what you said, ma, you've explained everything. Someone who is pregnant and went to, to terminate or to flush out whatsoever they may call it, that is not family planning. That is not family planning. That family is abortion. Plan that is abortion. Okay. Family planning. Family planning is for that is for that one not to happen. Not to happen. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. It's quite the two. The two are. It's just like the two are interwoven, but they are different. Thank you, sir. The two are interwoven, but they are different. There's nothing wrong in family planning. Okay. Because even uh, I don't know where student that said if it is your eye. That want to make you to sin, you should pluck, pluck it, it out. Off complete. If it is your hand that will, that want to make you to sin, pluck it out. If you know now that it is your maybe too much producing will make you to sin again, because according to what we've said, the Bible said we should make all uh, we should do everything in moderation. Yes. He said let our uh, he said let our moderation be in order. Mm -hmm. God Almighty is at hand. Hallelujah. Amen. The only thing, the only thing a preacher or a pastor or a prophet or a Jew will preach about is this: that if you know that you have not yet have any children, don't go and do family planning. Exactly. According to what you said, a lot of people they are suffering from me today. Now they are now going from mountain to mountain as if God turned their back to them, of which they have made the mistake. Some of them, some of them, they will not say what they have done, done in, in the, the past. past. Mm. Now it will not look as if God is no more God. Or, or God did not, uh, when they are coming to this world, God have told them they will not have any children. No, your mistakes have cost you whatsoever that person is going through. going through. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong whatsoever with family planning. There's nothing after me. Maybe, maybe okay, maybe you have three. You decide, okay, oh, it's two, it's three you want to have. You, go ahead, go and do whatever in order not to have more than what you've uh you planned for. Hallelujah. Amen. God Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mr. Kiyemi, God bless you, sir. That's also mm. a nice one from you. So please unmute your mic and contribute to the topic of today. Um, Sister Maka. I hope you are satisfied with the answer that is being given, ma. Ma, I, <laughs> me, I know it's not easy, but when I saw the, when I read that, I was wondering how is it easy. In fact, the, the video I even saw, the man analyzed it. How oh, he was just trying to make it to be to be seen as abortion, family planning as an abortion, and he was, he tried, condemn a lot of things. Uh, 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 sorry, ma. This is the question. I'm sorry, ma. This is the question yes. we need to be asking sometimes. No matter, no matter who is preaching or who is talking. Some people mm -hmm. they just they, they just pick a topic. They begin to polish it as if they are polishing shoe. Okay. How can how can how can family planning be abortion? Family yeah. planning is not possible. This is and I, I used to say English is our problem sometimes. <laughs> no, English, okay. how can family planning be abortion? What is abortion? What is family planning? Anyway, well, by the grace of God, the doctor that will come and talk to us will enlighten us more. 
they will tell Amen. us what the meaning of how abortion is being done and how family planning is being done by the grace of God. Amen. Okay. Amen. Okay. Uh, so, please, more contributions or questions. Okay. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is uh, this is a lot of just from you. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to yes, I just want to contribute the topic because um, our daddy and uh, our two daddy have just spoken. Uh, family planning. Before uh, I used to think if uh, we do family planning, so we often go. Or uh, at least I realized that family planning is the way of protecting unwanted pregnancy. Because if God's wish to be uh, produced, hello? We are with you, Ma. I so would we'll like you to speak up more, ma. <laughs> okay. If God said uh, we should uh, produce, it doesn't mean that uh, we will not have control over them. Mm -hmm. So, family planning gives us the uh, privilege to control how many are we going to have. Mm. And uh, I talk to myself, I think it's my husband. Because we try to think like that before it's <laughs> mm. Then, mm. That's uh, number one. Number two, because we say we do not do family plan. Number one, yes, um, this is what they call robber or condom. It's not every couple that likes that. It's not what, ma'am? And because okay, so I don't, it's not everybody that likes that. Okay. I mean, condom or robber. Okay. Because okay, if it's yes. okay, you want to continue use, using that, you don't want to do family planning. Hmm. Uh, you may like it, your spouse may not like it. Yeah, exactly. And that may cause problem. If it may mm. cause problem, that's number mm. one. Number two, you said something the other time that uh, Tamara, is it Tamari? Tamar, or what Tamar. Tamar, that the, uh, the, the, the one that, oh, nah. that the one that said with her, uh, oh, we drop her. It's a yes. great thing. Because it's even in the Bible. Oh, if it's okay, I will do that. You won't know when one will drop inside the evil. <laughs> it's true. Hello? Yeah, yeah, with I... you, ma. you can't really control that. It's true, ma. Mommy, continue, ma. Everything stopped. Oh, our network. Will... What happened? <laughs> She's saying that she's talking about the withdrawal method. She she spoke about the the con, uh, the use of condom. That if you like yeah. it, your spouse may not like it. It's not everybody that enjoy condom. So if you, as a woman, you are telling your spouse to use condom in order to prevent. Mm, I'm not hearing that. again. Ah, uh, can you hear me, sir? Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you now. I'm hearing you. Aha, uh -huh, okay. The mommy, and I think it's our network. She's gone. She's, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. trying to reconnect. She's trying to reconnect. Hello, mommy. Sorry about that. Yeah, welcome. Well, well, yeah, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that um, all this two things that I've just mentioned is even great. It is, uh, I mean, the, the second one is the great thing before God. That's the withdrawal so method. If we say, okay, well, yeah, okay. because if, in that process, even in that process, even some will drop inside there, you will not know. I think you want to say you don't want to do something. And at the end, you, you, you realize that you've already conceived. Hey, you stay with so, me. I think the best way, yeah, it's. I think this, you you want to withdraw. Are you the are you God? If you want to withdraw, something draw inside. It's only one that can form baby. Are we are we are we please can we with? I'm with you, mommy. We are with you, ma. So it's 
funny one that can fuck baby. Maybe that one that fought inside has make you to, to, to even pregnant. You don't know. So I think the best way is to do the family planning. The best way is to do the family planning. And God we we give us money, enough money, because sometimes some people will say because the money they are using to do it is too much, this and that. But God will help us. I think the best way is family planning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, mommy. God bless you, ma. Um <laughs> It's like, let me explain what mommy said because our network was not stable. She said, number one, that use of condom, that she herself, she used to believe that before, she used to believe that family plan is a sin. So it was later she realized that it is not a sin because you have to be able to plan yourself to know the numbers of children you want to have so that you don't go and have the ones you can't take care of. Then she talked about the use of condom. She said, if uh, you you prefer using condom, what about your spouse? Maybe your spouse may not some like it. Some people don't it. like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that some people don't like it. In fact, the truth is that I want to believe that it doesn't really make you enjoy yourself. That's just the truth. It does not really make you enjoy your spouse. So um, then she talked about withdrawal method just as we've seen in that Genesis chapter 38. So she said the withdrawal method, that when you apply withdrawal method, there's probability that when you are trying to withdraw, a drop will drop inside. And the, <laughs> and the story change. And the story will change. So that becomes a sin because you are now bringing a child that you never prepared for. That was when I was trying to answer her that ah, if it comes like that, you take it like that. So, <laughs> so she, but let me tell us this. There is nothing that doesn't have its own side effect also. Mm -hmm. Even the family planning we are talking about has its own side effect. That is just the truth. But for us to get the proper one, that is why we are bringing up this kind of topic. Because the problem with so many people is that, oh, uh, Sister Alagwaja is using the one with injection. Me too, I will do it. People don't really go for text. They don't know. They don't, they don't ask questions. They don't. They, they need to ask questions. They need to talk to uh, the professional. The professionals. The, the professional to tell them the one that suits them. So a lot of people we I know that very well in Nigeria. They 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 hear from what their friend is using and they just subjected themselves to that. That okay, uh, sister, this did that, that. Let me to go for this. So and some they even use pills. Pills that you don't know. Your own health issue is different from your, your friend's health issue, uh, health condition, and you are using the same thing that she's using. That is working for society does not mean it will work for you. So um, that is what I really want to say that I, I really want to say concerning that. So it's not that family planning 100% is also good. Or it doesn't have its own side effects. But that is why we are bringing up this topic. And by the grace of God, when the doctor comes, the doctor will explain to us better. Bro, when guy, you want to say something? Yeah. I don't think they will hear you. That's why I'm thinking maybe you should join yourself. You want to show your face. Okay, go as we are talking. <laughs> okay. Bro, when guy wants to talk. Is it not safe? Yeah, she will, it will, it's going to, okay, you are using your white phone. You know what, let me mute the, the mic so that they will hear you, but you will not, it will not, so that it won't be echoing. Okay. Um, can we hear? No, I don't have to mute this so one. Can we hear me now? Let yes. me have, yes. let me yes. wait. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, then go as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. sorry for that. He's talking now, he's going to talk now. Okay, unmute the mic. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Okay, yeah, so, um, this is Benga from Germany. Okay, you're welcome. And I'm um, live and there is from Sister Lavaquez out. <laughs> so, um, okay. 
I noted a couple of things down here that I just want to talk about that. Like Mr. Kiyemi said, sometimes um, we just, some people just talk based on rubbish. Mm. And I have a few points to mention about that. Now, the first thing is, let's agree that the Bible did not really say anything about birth control. Let's agree that the Bible didn't really mention so many things about birth control because these things were post Bible era time. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing we should consider is, which I think is what is mo what most times confuses a lot of maybe um, some pastors or Christians. some people, uh, Christians generally. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. And some people just interpret that as meaning the, like meaning that intentionally preventing pregnancy would be wrong. Mm -hmm. Because they said be fruitful and multiply. The Bible said, I think that's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. It said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and rule over the fishes of the seas and over the birds of the sky Amen. and every living thing that moves in it. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, can't, I can't remember the episode, but I said something like, being fruitful goes beyond sometimes getting giving birth to children sometimes. Bit, yeah, yeah. I was reading a story of a man sometimes. The man is a German man, and he has worked in the same company for 40 years without building his own house. And all his salary, all his life, he has used it to train 113 children. Hmm. Can we say that man is not fruitful? He's fruitful. He's fruitful. Even if he doesn't have his own children, he has been fruitful. But because they say be fruitful and multiply, so we, we Christians start attaching to the fact that yeah, uh, they say we should we should be fruitful and multiply, so we should have as much children as we can. No, why would you, you bring into thing. this world a child that you cannot care for? You have offended God in the first place. Hmm. Mm. Now you now bring a child into the world, and sometimes because you can't take care of them at the age which they, you are supposed to take care of them, you send them out into the streets and something will happen to that child, God forbid, and you will start crying. You cost it yourself hmm. to start with. That's one point. The second point, my wife was telling me something yesterday, a story of a, a couple that they were both AS, their genitals were both AS, and they prayed to God that God should just give them two children that would not be SS. I want to show the, 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 the power or the level of knowledge in, some, in this situation. Now they gave it to two children and God answered them and the both children were AS. They were not sickle cell. But do you know what? They were having the normal love situation, having sex and Eventually, the wife got pregnant again and he gave it to an SS straight. Wow. Mm. Because it is out of the, the prayer. And they, and they <laughs> were now, they, they were really troubled. When the trouble was so much, then God sent a prophet to them and told them that you were covetous. Mm. You already asked for two children and I gave to you. So what, why did you have to give it to a third one? one? Hmm. And now they are in the trouble running up and down Eta Skelta when the child is having crisis. Do you think if they had done family planning in such situation, God would have been mad at them? No. Hmm. So I want to understand why somebody would tell me that family planning is a sin. Mm, it depends on the understanding. Hmm. That, that's what I'm saying. Knowledge is sometimes that, something mm -hmm. that sometimes... It's it depends on how we interpret or see something. That's how we use it to preach or we use it to talk to people. Sometimes that's not even what the Bible is saying, but the way we understand it, we use it, we, we push it out to people and we say it like that. In that kind of situation, for those people, they 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 for for some reason they have offended God. Where it takes God to forgive them, that's on their own part. But they are already suffering from the consequences of not even mm -hmm. taking some actions in this mm -hmm. enlightened world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in the case of Tama and um, and Honor, 
Now, no. I want us to, uh, to, to understand that God was not mad at him for his withdrawal or birth control methods. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But his intention. No. But the intention, which was exactly. he was not ready to split his inheritance with mm-hmm. another person's mm-hmm. supposed child. So he was mm-hmm. still seeing Tama as his brother's wife, as not his own anymore. Mm-hmm. Why did he go there? Exactly. So God was mad at so. So this man, you are so selfish that you can convert someone else's wife, but not also want to see them as your own property. We don't want mm-hmm. to take responsibility for what that is in your that's person. Correct. That was I wanted possible. to knock about it. Mm. So the way we perceive things sometimes should not just be the way we we um. We, we, we out try to, say to, to say it to people. It is very wrong sometimes. You should try to enlighten yourself as much as possible. Okay, make your research. Understand what the Bible is saying about this. I keep telling people sometimes, yeah, that, okay, you can pray, you can pray thunder and fire if you are sick, but God created the doctors for some reason. <laughs> I, I had a case of someone that had cancer. I'm sorry for the digression, but I need to try to um, to solidify my point mm-hmm. on knowledge because the Bible said, my people, because before God can retry you as his people, you are indeed his people. So indirectly, he's telling us that Christian in general perish from the lack of, of work. knowledge. knowledge. Mm-hmm. Now, I had a, a case. In fact, it happened to my neighbor then while I was back in Nigeria. So his auntie had cancer, but she was believing and she was expecting um, uh, a miracle. She was very rich. Very, very rich. So my that my neighbor that was a pastor was always encouraging her, go to the hospital, go for chemotherapy. If this chemotherapy doesn't work, then we know that, okay, we support you with prayer, but go for chemotherapy. She was believing that God will heal her and God will everything. So she, she died. Mm. Because it's too much kept enlarging and enlarging and she died. If she had gone for chemotherapy, which was expensive, the tumor would have shrunk down and then they would have been able to perform operation and most likely remove the tumor from her body. Mm. God didn't give you that money so that you can keep it to yourself. Okay, fine. It, miracles can happen in a situation maybe the person does not really have the money. And you, yeah, you start praying. You start, God will be like, okay, this person might not have the capacity. But you already have the capacity. You already know the right things to do. People are also giving you advice. Even a fellow pastor, which is your younger brother, was also giving you advice. But you refused to take it. And so she perished. So what I'm saying is adequate knowledge sometimes is what we just need. Family planning is not a sin. I can boldly say it. it's not a sin. But because it, it post dates the Bible, mm-hmm. most people on, only want to see what the Bible talks about. And when they read one or two lines about something that is inside in the Bible, they just pick it literally. Why would you give it to five children and you know you can only take care of two and three are now suffering? That's when insane. You just don't... And when you could have done family planning, maybe uh, when you give birth to the two of them, and okay, you know that you can give these two children the best. Eventually, won't those children look back in the future and say that, ah, God forbid, cause be to my father or, or cause the father or the mother that they made them suffer in this life. Tell them, please tell me, how would God even want to be happy with such people? So it's, it's a simple and straightforward thing. It's just a thing of knowledge. Like try to enlighten yourself. Like 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 um, Sister Labake said, a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things is just by understanding. Some people will just take decision. I think the people that paint this thing most times as a bad thing, as maybe they've heard stories of how it went wrong for some people and how it didn't work out for some people. Mm-hmm. There are procedures to family planning. That is why they will tell you, go to your doctor. Don't just take pills that somebody is taking. If you want to do the long-term one, go to the hospital. They will tell you everything that is needed to do. They will take tests. They will see the ones you are compatible with, and they will prescribe the right ones for you. Mm. Which one, and there, there are ones that, that you can even remove eventually. So what I'm saying is knowledge, be enlightened, and all these things will not, nobody will bamboozle you. Mm-hmm. That's just, 
Thank you. God bless you very much. God bless you. That's a brilliant one from you. God bless you, bro. Winger. Please, we 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 are encouraging you to share this program. Use it to bless somebody out there. Because I want to believe we have a lot of people out there that still believe that family planning is a sin. And some people are still preaching it also. That is a sin. So please share this on your Facebook page. Share it on your WhatsApp. Let people be blessed through this program. God bless you as you do so. Yeah. Um, there's something I want to talk about, and it's about IVF. There's no way in the Bible that IVF is written. And <laughs> the, the one we are even doing to prevent a child from coming, I think is we, we can't really see it as a sin compared to you now trying to make it happen a, a, artificially. You understand? Because there is no way in the Bible that is written that you can have a baby through artificial means, through IVF. And a lot of us, we are celebrating it today that, okay, according to the book of Daniel chapter 12, uh, verse 4 of it, God says, uh, the Bible says, knowledge will increase at the, towards the end of the, of, the, of the whole world. So we accepted that as part of the knowledge that has, uh, that, that has increased. And over social media now, we are celebrating IVF. A lot of pastors, they've gone for IVF. We are encouraging people, if you know you are you, your faith cannot carry it anymore, go for IVF. So IVF is not written in the Bible. So if there's no Bible passage that is backing up family planning, I want to believe that family planning is also part of the knowledge that has increased. Praise the Lord. So if no Bible is backing it up, and I thank God for people that has, people like Brogbenga address that, has, that they've also talked about the issue of honor and, and uh, tamar. God wasn't hungry because he used the withdrawal method, but his motive behind it, just the way I explain it in my teaching, his motive behind it. And that is the Bible passage, Genesis chapter 38, is what people are using to say that family planning is a sin. So family planning is not a sin. The fact that it's not written in the Bible does not mean that God does not want us to plan. And like I told us, God himself is, is the master planner. And we're still going to see a lot of things that he planned, that it came to existence and it's worked. And that, that you and I, are benefiting from today. So, more questions or contribution? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Like uh, we talk Amen. about this Onan and the Tama. Tama. Uh, Tama. The, yes, the withdrawal system or idea, like we talked about it before. I don't think, yeah, let's go back to it. Some people, as a family, they use it and they work for them. And I know people that, that are using it. I don't see anything in it. Mm -hmm. Because they, are, they understood that themselves. They have mm -hmm. what they want. They can do it thousands of times and enjoy themselves if nothing happens. Mm -hmm. That is not why somebody who preached that a family can do it and God is angry. No. <laughs> like our brother said it. That man... Actually, God saw his selfishness. He's wicked. He enjoyed the brother's wife, but he don't want to produce anything from that. So people will go to the pulpit and begin to preach what, although our brother Desmond said, English is the problem. <laughs> that is true. I bought his idea all the time. That is the problem of English. It's a borrowed language. So we contradict so many issues. <laughs> instead of you, you can still let me just say it I ask a question in this platform stopping the baby when you don't want it to come and bringing one out to kill which one is better ah, it's better to prevent it to, from it's coming better to kill. stop it from coming than bringing it out and kill then why should somebody come to justify you that you are doing wrong in stopping it why you need your enjoyment as husband and wife? 
Hmm. I mean, we should get this sense, hmm. as the Bible says, we should get yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, mommy, okay. Um, that, 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 you. So. Okay. Yes, okay. mommy. Daddy, that's why we said, okay, they should do people just go for family, family plan. What is the essence of what is the essence of withdraw? I have to go for family planning and <laughs> <laughs> and don't what go for yourself. The family planning, don't go for, go for yourself. Planning. Look <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> 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 so say is that so <laughs> one thing I want to say is that there are mistakes sometimes, even though if you do family planning. As uh, the host have just said before that, it's what God said you will drink, you will drink. Exactly. Mm-hmm. In some cases, in some cases, you will get pregnant sometimes. Yes. And I, I, I have a story of somebody that said, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop at the, at the first one. Then it, it discovered that it was, it was just getting sick, getting sick. Second manager, ah, come on, I have my face. Let me go to the hospital. He got to the hospital. Instead of one, they say yeah, she have two. <laughs> Double. <laughs> yeah. She has already planned that I'm stopping. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Like if, yes, God say, if God says you are going further, there's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing. Like if it comes, just take it like that instead of one, just away. That's the best thing before God. Amen. So Amen. we need to, yeah, we need to plan ourselves. Family planning is a good thing, as we said. So it's better to do go for that instead of flushing the the, the, the innocent children. Oh God! Thank you, man. Oh, Amen. Thank you Mommy. so much. God help Mommy. us. Thank you, man. Yes. Uh, concerning Sister Maka, you will talk now, please, man. Yeah. Concerning the withdrawal method, it's not easy. <laughs> withdrawal method is not easy at all. For the men, they can't yeah. hear you. Yeah. 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 Why are they doing method? it? <laughs> Where? Are they doing? Why are they doing it? Mm-hmm. Mommy, what did you say? Why, why are, are they, they doing, doing it? it? They ask the question, why are they doing it? If, if that easy. is what they prefer, we, you know what they can stop them? Uh, we've seen people that is working for, though it's, it's really, it's saying. very risky. Just like you explained before, withdrawal method is very risky because sometimes you might think you've the thing You'll has forget. not dropped and it has dropped million. out of anyway, out of, out of out of out of 10 million anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it the truth is that withdrawal method is not easy. But if it is if that is what is working for your family, go for it. But if maybe by mistake the thing not happen, you don't go and the consequence. That. You are you be it. That is just it. I know people that are using withdrawal method and it's working for them. Bear the consequence. Yes, Hallelujah. Sister Maka, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, um, I think what uh, our brothers just say is the problem. Um, the ability to understand. Because people, people have their different way of understanding something. Because the... the the children are making we are like this. Samaka. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The I one I, I read, the person also make reference to that that passage of the Bible in, in Genesis about that withdrawal method. That that is why it, it says that um, family plan is a sin. But I think <laughs> lack of understanding. <laughs> and secondly, uh, family planning, family planning can be uh, it can be advanced. Uh, it can it has advantage, it has the disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Some people it works for them, why some people it, it doesn't work for them. Mm-hmm. I've seen somebody that said he, he was on on peace and still get pregnant. I've seen somebody that take pills uh, because he doesn't want to get pregnant and and at the end when she wanted to get pregnant, she stopped the pills and the, the pregnancy refused wait. to come. The pregnancy refused to come and she started, you know, from there searching for child all over again. So the family plan, it has to, it, it, it has to be the one that work for you very well. And also, and, and thirdly, I think those that believe that, that have the faith that prayer can also help them 
uh, as a means of family planning. I think uh, there are some people also, because I've seen uh, couples, their pastors, that said when they got married, they pray to God that they don't want baby now because of some certain things they are doing. And God really answered the prayer. They didn't have baby for some time. But, the, but it gets to a time where they started um, um, look, looking for the truth of the womb and they forgot the prayer that they prayed. That they prayed. Hmm. And because the man was giving testimony and Amen. after some years, God reminded him that this, this, is, this is what you said. So if, so if you want the baby now, it's for you to go back to God in prayer again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like you shut the door and you also yeah, have the key to open, open it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I believe those that, think, that have the faith that they can use prayer to do their family planning is, is, is also good for them. And those that can do natural process or go for the, the medical process, it's just your own faith and belief. Praise mm. the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 I just have one thing to yes. chip in. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the issue, Sister Maka, thank you so much. But there is something I want us to, to encourage ourselves in. The issue of this life is we should never in this life, as long as we live, go before God in anything. Don't do it on your own. Amen. You need to inquire of God. Pray on it. Because there are so many people who, in one situation or the other, they don't want this baby. When things become fine, they begin to want the baby. And then they complicate so many issues. And when they have done these issues, they will not tell the people like our brother said, they, was, they won't tell you the truth of where it started. Mm -hmm. The pastor prayed and he forgot. Mm -hmm. Amen. If mm -hmm. he did not hear from God again, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. I know this thing you said, I know it very well because something like this has happened in my life. I remembered very late, and then I began to pray, let it return back again, and it came to pass. Amen. So some people in this life, the they family planning, they did not consult God. Also, they did not go for professional. They heard that uh, John is taking, or let me say, uh, uh, how do I call this name? Uh, one woman name. Anna is taking... Uh, pills not to get baby and then he tell the husband let me take the same pill like I'm not is taking if God said listen there is something I mean by don't go don't do things before God God has the ending of everything before the beginning mm -hmm. if it is destined that you are going to have four children and God will provide what it takes for four children you may have you may have to you may have to and take the whole pills and you must have baby. Huh? It doesn't matter whether you turn your stomach around, <clears throat> the baby will come. I had testimony of somebody who said, even when they don't want it again, one came, they went to the hospital, they flushed it. At the end of it, the baby had something, just hide the baby somewhere. After the flushing, the baby came out. <laughs> The person is still alive today. After flushing it, the doctor confirmed everything okay. The blood went, but the baby came. Mm -hmm. So you see, everything we must do in this life, consult God, consult Amen. the physician, consult Amen. the physician. If Amen. the pills doesn't work, go for another one. Let Amen. God be the first of everything. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Sister Olaiwala. Okay. Yeah. Introduce Praise yourself, Ma. <laughs> okay, this is Olaiwala from South Africa. Praise the Lord. You're welcome, Ma. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to chip in something quickly. Just like um sister, I think uh, it was sister Maka. Yeah. Just like she she said that uh, this family planning thing has this advantages and disadvantages. 
you see, there are people, there are some people that react to all this family planning thing. I, I, and I, I'm talking about women now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I know of someone who's very, 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 very close to me. She, all, all the family planning method that she went for, she went to, to an hospital, a very good one at that. She, there was a problem with everything. It's either she, she's bleeding or this or that. So I, I think I've shared that testimony before with Sita mm -hmm. So I, what I want to say now is that this family planning thing is not only limited to women, because anytime we hear family planning, it is a woman. <laughs> God bless you, Sister Yes, it's not only women. In the cases where, you, uh, where the, 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 the couple, where, in cases where they are fine, maybe uh, where, where a couple is fine with the number of children mm -hmm. that they want to have, probably they want to have three and they already have two. There is nothing, nothing bad in maybe the, 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 the man using a condom or going for a surgery as well. If they are not having any, 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 any if they are not planning to have any child again. So it's not like it's not only limited to women. Anytime we hear family plan, it is the woman mm. that was family plan. <laughs> the woman is reacting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the men to take a, a, a take the initiative and uh, and do something. That's a beautiful okay. one. Eh? Okay now. Okay. The men are sorry though. This is a beautiful one. Eh? Beautiful mm -hmm. one. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's a very good idea. Eh? Yes. Yeah, after all, there are doctors, there are some drugs that can yes. make one not Don't put everything on our Yes, now. Yeah. So if they are no longer having kids, let let the, the man can also go for, or maybe that's, I, I can't remember the name of that surgery now. Yeah, it's okay. Praise the Lord. Let me, uh, uh, please, uh, I want to portray uh, Mr. Olai, uh, uh, our sister, Sister Olai. Can I go ahead? Yes, go yes, ahead. sir. Sister Olai, yeah. are you done, ma? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Thank you. God bless you, ma. Okay. This I can Praise, the, Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just like what uh, our sister just said, is very, very, is very, very okay. Hundred, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Not only, not only uh, women. women. Yeah. And according to what you know, we have been discussing a lot of things here since. There are some people when God is not here true with you. No mm -hmm. matter if you like. Carry go room and put it in your womb. <laughs> God will still, Amen. God will still be, God will still be God. God. Because, uh, because me myself, uh, I, I've experienced it. Maybe myself, I'm a living testimony uh, about that. You know, when God is not yet true with you, it may be, there may be, maybe the, maybe the next child is the, is the, is the one that wants to elevate you, and you mm -hmm. want to prevent it. La la. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, mm. Hallelujah. That's what but, I said. Amen. Yeah. If 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 mm. women, uh, if for example, if women went for uh, maybe family planning. family planning, there's nothing bad. Also, men to have injection. Yes. Men to have mm. injection that they can take. Cool that will not make their will not, that, that that it will not make their assignments be so powerful. I mean, I mean, to, the sister to form. One yeah, one. men too can go for it. Yes. Thank you, Ma. God bless the you. First time, no, the first time somebody suggesting something like this. That's a very good idea. <laughs> God bless you, sister. Uh, 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 I, I want to say something. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I want to say something concerning this uh, family planning for men because I I by the grace of God I've, I've um, have the opportunity to to go for this uh, counseling concerning family planning. And, and I, I was told that the only one that men can do is to make the sperm to be sterile yeah. yes. and, and it's irreversible. Aha. It's irreversible. It's not oh. like a woman that, that can go That family. was why I said if, if, if they are fine with the number of, ch of children that they are planning to have, and if yes. not, the man can go ahead and use a condom anytime they want to. They want to have sexual intercourse. Okay, so I, I instead I, of I, subjecting the wife for yeah, because because, uh -huh. because a woman that do it family planning, maybe later on he, uh, he, he decide to have a child again, can go and undo it. 
but the man own is irreversible. Mm. Yeah, but I believe. Them. I know the them issue. now want to do family planning. You should, you should, you should be aware of it. That's it just what sure. you should should be Amen. sure that you're ready for it. Yeah. Amen. Yes, I Amen. Amen. Or they can uh, 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 yeah, fine. There is nothing God cannot do. Yeah. I, I just yeah, want to your, okay. that. Yeah. Mommy wants to, yeah. to use your hand I and go and make yourself better. Mm -hmm. And wait for God. What I want to contribute to that is that um, it's good for a man also to try that. We, the reason why I said that, that uh, when I was in the journey, I have a friend, and this my friend told me something that was very, I was so sad about it. There was a couple, they have uh, like uh, is it three children, they already grown up. Mm -hmm. Then the husband called the wife one day, we have enough. Can you go and remove your womb? Hey. Then the lady said, the lady said, I don't want to do that. We can do something else. Just persuade and continue from the lady until the lady go and remove the womb. After the lady removed the womb, the man started doing rubbish. Mm. He started having an he started having an affair. To the extent that he went out to go and impregnate another woman mm. and started maltreating this woman, sent her out of the house with children. Then I was so mad. That is so I blamed the woman. I, I, I blamed the woman in the first place. That even though somebody told you to go and do such a thing, why will you go and do that? Right. For what reason? Then because he trusted him. You trusted him. Now, the man goes out, begins to have another children, have another wife, throw her outside. Then that one, the, 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 the make the woman started getting, he begins to have mental disorder. Mm -hmm. hey. So it's better for man also to try it, not only woman all the time. Okay. We know that okay, the woman all can be reversible. But if they ask if they don't if they know that they already have had enough, they, they can try. Look at that situation now. That woman now, how can she get herself back? Mm. Because Mommy. the woman is come out there. God bless you, Ma. Uh, yes. Thank, thank you for your contribution, Ma. Uh, this thing is not only happening to men, women in law. Oh, I mean, yeah. Because if you remember very well, there's, this, uh, there's one case we brought here that happened to a doctor, uh, a pastor in the UK. Uh, yeah, the yeah, wife, yeah. Uh, the wife persuaded him to do the family planning for the men. And after doing that, they had issue with uh, money, and the woman packed, uh, packed out of the house with the children, depriving the man of those children. And now the man, since they said the thing is irreversible, the man is just left alone there. He cannot marry to another of which we even know that remarrying that one has even have his own custom, uh, question mark. But now the, this man. Even though forbid if anything should happen to the woman tomorrow, the man cannot say he wants to go and remarry and have right. children God, because God. of the because of what he has done, what he has subjected himself to, but, yeah. the family plan he has done. So as men, women are suffering from it. Also, men are also suffering from it. I personally, I will not support any man to go and subject himself for such thing that does not have reverse, that is not reversible. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So there are, that, that, I want to leave that question for the doctor that will be doctor, coming. Doctor, yes. So that, that, please, in case I, in case I didn't, I forgot to ask, please remind me. So these are the kind of questions that should be reserved for doctor. So when the doctor comes, the doctor will tell us if maybe there's another one that men can do. And if not, they should, if they want to, they should learn to use condom or they should be perfect in the withdrawal method. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as we are planning to close now, because we have a few minutes left, 
Any question for the black? We, we didn't hear from Sister Fumi again. Sister Fumi from US. Where is she? Ah, uh, <laughs> she joined us the way we started. Ah, uh, our, our mommy is around, and thank oh, God. Okay. I forgot to even mention that. I didn't know she joined us last week. Uh, mom is my auntie and she's now in the US. Yeah, so she joined Lord. us. Yeah, hallelujah. She joined, she's uh, Mrs. Adejuma. She joined us all through the program, throughout the program last week. But because our camera was not on and I was not. I was not, I was unable to see people that joined, so I didn't notice she was, she, she was with us. So if she's hearing us, um, okay, maybe they are even on Facebook, I don't know, because sometimes when Fumi is busy like that, she joined on Facebook. So if they are hearing us, we appreciate you for joining us. And for those that were not part of the celebration last week, go to our YouTube channel and watch the, the video. Thanks. It was so awesome. And we return all the glory back to God. And for people that still want to bake yeah. cake, bake your cake oh, and send it to us. <laughs> send us the picture. God. And God bless all those people that bake cake. We celebration cake. We received uh, people baked all over uh, the global places. The, yeah, the places that they are viewing us from. Sister Olai Ola from South Africa. We appreciate you, Ma, for your beautiful cake. So many people, don't let me start mentioning them. Sister Ulu Abukola, Sister Alice, Sister Alice Busola, uh, even Sister Fumi, the Sister Fumi, the Sister Fumi in US, she baked. And her husband was the one who sponsored the one we baked, the big one, the house, the one we with house that we baked here. Um, Sister AB from Nigeria baked. Sister, a lot of people. So if I didn't mention your name, I'm sorry for that. Even mommy. Mommy in UK, she also she baked to God bless all of you. So we are around yeah. for tonight. And by the grace of God. Me. Ah, Sister Lai, Sister, <laughs> Sister Lai is from US. God bless you for reminding me. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for celebrating Covenant Union. Thank you for celebrating all of us. God bless you, Ma. <laughs> we know you were, you were unable to join on time because of work. You were at work and you later joined later. You joined later. God bless you, Ma. We love you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Everyone that has made that day to be a wonderful day. We love you. We say God bless you. God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. And we pray by the grace of God, next year will be more, more, more better than last week in the name of Jesus. If Jesus carries, praise the Lord. So that now brings us to the concluding part of today's episode. And I will still say it, that please share the video for people to be blessed to today's teaching. Let as many that are out there that are still seeing family planning as a, as a sin, let them know that it's not a sin. But we are not saying, we are not teaching this topic to uh, to support family planning. We are not teaching it to support family planning. We are not teaching it for to uh, encourage family planning, but we just want to make it to be an awareness for people that doing it is not a sin if you are able to get the right one to do, the right method to use. So it's not a sin. And God will continue to bless us, uphold us and our various homes in the name of Jesus. So before we close for today, we'd like to appreciate God that has helped us thus far. And in doing that, we'd like to call on um, Sister Ola Yemi from US. Okay. Uh, you are you are giving us closing prayer, ma. Uh, permit me to read this, sister, from Sister Maka. She said, even if family plan is not a sin, but for a man to go and sterilize his palm, or a woman going to remove her womb just to prevent baby is a sin. You are very correct, ma. So God that gave you that womb gave you for a purpose. Even when you are done with it, don't remove it. There are other methods that you can use. 
to prevent babies from coming. Some people that doesn't have that, they are crying to have it, to have that home. So removing it according to Samakaya is the same. So as we close now, we call on Sister Olayemi, are you there, ma, to give us closing prayer? Sister Olayemi from US. Sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry. Are you driving? Yes, I'm driving. What did you just say? Now? I want you to do the closing prayer, but if you are busy, then you follow. Oh, okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, I am that I am the chest of this. We thank you for the word we said today. We give you glory and adoration, accept our thanks and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, I am that I am. We thank you for the host of this program, Sister Labake. We thank you for the knowledge you have given us to have continued to guide and protect her in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for each and every one of us present here. You say be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As we are going to come back next week, we commit everything unto your Hebrew hands. So we have this blessed us to give glory and adoration to you. For in Jesus' mighty marvelous name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, ma. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. Please share this program. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. See you again next week. God bless you.